Queen Elizabeth II's Covid diagnosis has filled some royal fans with dread and dampened their enthusiasm for the upcoming trip to Denmark of Kate, Duchess of Cambridge. Kate announced earlier this month she will undertake a two-day visit to Copenhagen related to her work in the field of early childhood. This news sent royal fans into a frenzy, excited to see the Duchess of Cambridge traveling abroad for her royal work for the first time since March 2020, when Kate and William visited Ireland. However, Buckingham Palace's recent announcement concerning the Queen's health quashed the enthusiasm of some royal fans who became concerned for Her Majesty. One fan account of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge called at Love Cambridge's underscore took to Twitter after it was announced the Sovereign Court Covid to say, I was so excited for Catherine's visit to Copenhagen and now I am so worried for the Queen. Replying to this message, another royal fan, at Jonevado24, wrote, Yes I feel the same way. A third, at Gabs19G, simply added, Me too. And another, at Catherine Clark 2 wrote, I'm terrified for HMTQ, Her Majesty the Queen. The Queen's COVID-19 diagnosis was revealed on Sunday, when her office said in a statement, Buckingham Palace confirmed that the Queen has today tested positive for COVID. Her Majesty is experiencing mild cold-like symptoms but expects to continue light duties at Windsor over the coming week. She will continue to receive medical attention and will follow all the appropriate guidelines. Her Majesty has indeed shown her usual resilience and desire to carry on with her work and within hours she released a statement congratulating the British curling teams on their success at the Winter Olympics. On Monday, the Queen released another statement, this time addressing the deadly flood which hit Brazil earlier this month. This week, as she battles the virus, the monarch is expected to continue to deal with the government's red boxes she receives daily. Moreover, the monarch is expected to receive incoming foreign ambassadors via video link and hold her weekly audience with Prime Minister Boris Johnson via phone. The Queen is the latest member of the British royal family to have caught Covid. Prince Charles tested positive for the virus twice since the beginning of the pandemic, the last time on February 10. His wife Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, also caught Covid, as confirmed by Clarence House last Monday. Prince William was infected in April, during the first wave of infection, but only revealed he had suffered from the virus a few months later during an engagement. Kate is leaving for her first working foreign trip in almost two years on Tuesday and is to remain in Copenhagen for two days. While in Denmark, the future Princess of Wales will learn more about the country's world-leading approach to the early years and childhood development. This trip marks the first time she brings the work of her Royal Foundation Centre for Early Childhood, launched in June, to the international stage. During her two-day visit, Kate is expected to meet experts in the early childhood field. She will also hold meetings with two prominent members of the Danish royal family, Queen Margaret II and Crown Princess Mary. While the Sovereign, who is celebrating her 58th year on the throne, will officially welcome Kate to Denmark on Wednesday, Princess Mary will show the Duchess a project carried out by her foundation in support of victims of domestic violence.